YouTube was good. It's your boy, Laurent Potent Ponder, and I'm back with another video. Please come in, thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession each and every time I go live or I do uploads. Shout out to everybody who supports my channel. I had three people who sent me cash apps this morning. I appreciate y'all. I don't want to say your name. Y'all know who y'all are. I responded back to you. I always respond back. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Please make sure that you support the cash app is dollar sign Potent Ponder and never what? Pandaran. What? Yeah. So listen, let's do it first. Let's get straight into this whole Armand Wiggins, Fox Soul, uh, TGIF, uh, Claudia and Al, right? So this whole situation happened last week when they were doing a roast during Al's, uh, was it Al's birthday? I feel like, was it Al's birthday? Or was it Armand's birthday? I don't know. Listen, I'm just surface level with it, surface level, right? So uh, Armand, he pretty much got on Fox Soul and he has some words for Al, but like in a snarky type of like nice, nasty way, whatever, right? Ever since then, the thing spiraled. Al went on Funky Dineva's platform. Rumors is, um, you know, swirling around saying that Claudia was behind the whole ordeal. Tasha K got involved, yada, 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 right? So um, Armand, they were supposed to go live today on Fox Soul. There's a lot of people in the chat, they were waiting or whatever, and it never happened. So our, our mom got on air to, um he got online to clear the air saying that, you know, he said that the show, first he was saying that the show was not canceled because of him, because of the roast. And then he was like, oh, it's not canceled at all. So he said that, you know, he wished that people would be more open and forthcoming. I, I don't know if he's talking about the networks, the producers or Cla uh, Claudia or Al, but he's saying that they're on break. So I don't know why they took off tonight, but let's just, let's play this from what our mom said tonight. I did tip you is rest in this idea that you know what? I may not be for everybody. I'm not a likable person. I'm not a likable person. And for a long time, I tried to convince people that I was in a place where people didn't want to see that. They only want to see me as this negative, narcissistic, arrogant, self-serving, Black woman-hating person. So, you know what, today... What I'll say into that, right, I think that we all have a good contribution to the way that people view each and every one of us, right? Sometimes people are not really aware of it, but I think that when people are judging you, for number one, you can't take what they, you can't, you can't change every time a person says something. But if a lot of people are saying one thing about you, I think that you should sit back and try to kind of like understand, like maybe understand why they feel the way about you. And then you can do what you want to either change or don't change, you know, or either keep showing up the same way that you, that you have been. What I will say about the whole situation, because listen, I don't go, I'm not going to go into this whole thing deep at all because, you know, People are talking about this, so I want to give my spin on it. When I first heard the situation unfolding, I thought that Armand Wiggins is smart, right? Just follow me on this. I said, Armand Wiggins is smart. You know, I know that he might be spastic, erratic, and all of that, but I think that he knows how to work the social media game. Do you do you remember, like, when Tasha K would go through stuff with different social media, was, would, would go through things with different... Um, content creators, and then the whole streets would be ablaze with everybody making videos, Tasha K, Tasha K, Tasha K, Tasha K, right? Eating crazy off of her name, right? So I think that Armand, like, this is the first thought that I, this is the first thing I thought. Let's be honest. Look at Armand Wiggins' channel and look at Fox uh, Soul and look at the TGIF. Them views is not, they don't compete with his views. Let's just be honest. Let's be unbiased and let's be fair. They don't compete. So you have to realize. So at one point I'm thinking, are they doing this to get traction over there? But Al seemed really mad. Is this all planned and plotted? Like, you know, did they do this just to get some sort of rise out of people? Now people are going to watch the show. Was it that? Or is it Armand is trying to self-sabotage to get up out of there because he's looking at their views like what is really going on? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like to me personally, if I could, if I had a platform and I was getting, you know, even at some point, times astronomically higher views than the platform that I'm doing the work on. But I'm pretty sure that that does come with a check. And I'm pretty sure he likes that. But you have to realize it's like you're being counterproductive at a point. It's just like you're supposed to be on another platform to grow and to reach different heights, right? And I'm pretty sure it's people who have laid eyes on Armand Wiggins over there who haven't laid eyes on him over on his channel. You know, this is a huge world. See, what's beautiful about YouTube is that you could think that everybody's all on one person's channel. A person could have 10,000 people in a chat and another person could have 10,000. It really, it's, it's all based on who you are, what you, how hard you push it and how much you like you get. But what I'm saying all in all is, is that I just feel as though 
a part of me thought it was a publicity stunt for the network to get more viewership because their viewership is struggling. Look at the views on they on they, you know, for them to be such a huge and come and be associated with Fox, that's a conglomerate, like you know, that's that's huge. And for those views to be lower than his channel for somebody who built their channel up on their own, that is something to make a note of. So I didn't know if it was that a publicity sign. I didn't know if it was Armand trying to self-sabotage to get up out of it. But he said that they're still there. So listen, we're just going to follow the story and just see what happens with that. Let's move right on. So let's talk about Sexy Red. So Sexy Red went on Instagram today and said she tired of people copying her. She said, I'm, t- I'm you hoes blueprint and I'm getting sick of it with the uh face. My question is, who's copying off Sexy Red? Now, I looked in the comments and somebody was saying that Sexy Red stole the bow, bow, bow from Megan. I think people been saying that. Megan was just more known over Sexy Red. I think it might be a Southern thing. But who do you personally feel is copying Sexy Red? I didn't really think anybody was copying her. I mean, she had her own little style and all of that. But who do you think is copying Sexy Red? Let me know in the comments because I couldn't really think of anybody who was copying her. I don't know. So with that being said, let's move right on. Miss Ice Spice. Now, everybody is talking about Ice Spice. You know what I'm saying? She dropped this new snippet. You even got DJ Academics out here talking about Ice Spice just ran off with Nicki Minaj flow, laugh out loud. But, you know, DJ Academics don't even really like Nicki. But it's so crazy that when it comes time to pit the women against each other, that you want to bring her name up and throw it in their mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So let's check this out. Just maybe about seven, eight seconds. Name got the bitch gag in. Hit the bench up and tagged in. Bitch, you lost the flag in. Stay on a jet but ain't lagging. So listen, that's Ice Spice. Um, she got a new song, right? Name still going ding dong. Two girls getting more money and they don't rap, they sing song. I stay with that pink gong. Pink furs and a pink dong. Goons out if they blink wrong. Think twice, but don't think long. She, she bit, she definitely, I don't want to say, I'm going to say this. She definitely was inspired by LLC on this. I personally feel like she was inspired by LLC on this. Um, A lot of people feel as though, like, I was, I seen Armand, he made a video and he was saying like, oh, uh, Nikki needs to whack Ice Spice. Let me tell you something. There's more other girls who stole Nikki's flow, stole her wordplay, Cardi, for one, and they got away with it. I feel like Ice Spice, she's done enough for her own music. Of course, Nikki is the blueprint. She is the way for female rappers of this generation. So people are going to be inspired by her. Come on, look at Bia. People slept on when people, when Bia dropped that last song, Lights Out, she did that whole picture that, picture this, picture this. She did the whole thing. Did any of y'all catch it? I, can, I caught it. Picture catching out of field, dad. Picture me not telling my little hitters drill, lad. Yeah, I peeped it. So I don't have no no issue with Ice Spice. We all know that, like, you know, let me just tell you this. I'm going to just be frank, 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 and be open, right? Now, I know that those text messages came out and it made Ice Spice look messy. M-E-S-S-Y. I know it made her look messy, right? But let's just say this, because I try to, there's no, I don't think that you should be talking about anybody. But let's admit, people talk about people every day, right? So. Regardless of what she was trying to portray about Nikki and the messages, that doesn't mean that she didn't look up to her and didn't like her. Maybe, you know, people people will like a person. And then when it comes to the business and the things, they may not like them. But I just feel like she got exposed. So it's like people are going to feel a certain type of way about her. I think that the song sounds OK. You know, I don't think she's trying to be Nikki. Nobody can be Nikki. What she spit is not competitive with anything that Nikki can do. It's Ice Spice. I feel like it sounds good from her from her, though. Right. I'm just not going to pick her apart like that and just like, you know. If it, listen, everybody else do it. You got male rappers and female rappers who are inspired by Nikki and still flows and do all of that. Let's be honest. Let's just be let's just be honest about it. So listen, I don't feel no way about it. I know a lot of people was just like, you know, she's pandering this. The other day she was in the car. She was um playing the girls just want to have fun. But I don't know if it was the Nikki's version. I think she was just playing um the regular version of the girls just want to have fun. But listen, I don't feel no way about it. Let Ice Spice do what she want to do. I mean, if you're going to go over there and support and stream it, then you're going to do that. If you're already one of them people tapped in and you just feel like, look, I'm not featuring Ice Spice. I'm not giving her no type of uh, airplay or anything. Then just rest assured in that. When I heard it, I immediately thought of LLC. Goons out, they blink wrong. That just, I, what did that remind you of? It's like even the way that she started the verse even sounds like that. Come on, go back and listen to LLC and compare it to that. So listen, this is your boy, Laurent, P- Potent Ponderin. Please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. I want to make this a long video, right? Please support the channel. The cash app is on the screen, dollar sign, Potent Ponderin. Look, the beautiful thing about content creation is everybody has a different opinion. I just like, you know, 
you have to realize I'm 41 years old. I'm going to have a different opinion. Yeah, I do get petty on certain topics, but with, with Ice Spice, most well, most of the songs that she had and she made it on, I felt like she had her own little niche sound. And then she said something in the record about people copying her. Cardi definitely copied her flow. Cardi definitely copying her get up too. It's like, Cardi, you got too much money to be dressing like that. Typically girls dress like that when they don't, when they really trying to get the bag and they, you know, and they trying to get the bag and it's like easier for them to like wear clothes like that to like kind of like costumish, right? Cardi got too much money, but she wants to take her big celebrity and shit on everybody who's coming up. So it's like Cardi did that. You know how I told y'all with the hairstyles? Nikki did that. Cardi did that. You know, Eric and Tay do her hairstyles and she got Tokyo Styles doing it. Did Cardi did that. Nikki did that. So it's like so closely tied together that you don't really know who did it. It's the same way with, listen, I'm not even gonna go down that road. It's the same way with commentary. And that's all I'm going to say. You know, you have the originators and you have people who pick and steal and they refurbish and they reiterate and they act like it's theirs. It's just the same thing. Like, so I think what it is, is that Ice Spice, she, you know, regardless of the situation with her and Nikki, she still is inspired by Nikki. Nikki is the number one female rapper. Come on. What you going to do? What you going to do? What you going to say when the Jeep comes around the way? Listen, potent pondering, never pandering. I'm up out of here.